all women are, are, are potential rapists equally. Or, yeah, every man is capable of rape. Um, to then accuse the man of being a rapist or, or of, 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 of being a potential rapist because he can do is, is ridiculous. I mean, then every woman is, is a murderer or a potential murderer because they could murder somebody. The same sources that tell us that one in four women are victims of domestic violence tell us that one in four women are raped. There are a lot of other statistics out there. In fact, one set of statistics that absolutely um, floored me was from an organization which said that 95% um, of women by the time they were age 18 had been sexually abused. And I was quite flabbergasted by this because, you know, for one thing, I wasn't in the 95%. And what it what, what I found out was that in their definition of sexual abuse, it included a lorry driver driving by and saying, hey baby. On the basis of 600 convictions, uh, I have seen the Home Office conclude that something like 60,000 rapes occur every year. And what they do, what they, the way the police um, uh, manufacture the rape data is by including all allegations made of rape are counted as rapes. They are included in the statistics. They include as rape all those women who have answered yes to the following question. Have you in the past 12 months um, ever engaged in sex when you were uh, not initially in the mood to do so, or words to that effect? They're very ambiguous with regard to whether or not a rape has actually occurred. But the Home Office counts uh, a tick in the box to all these ambiguous questions as if a rape actually occurred. Has a woman ever said no to sex and then changed her mind soon after? Yes. When you persuaded a woman to have sex with you, did you feel that you'd done anything wrong? No, because it was totally... She knew that if she said no, I mean, I, I persuaded women to have sex with me, and if they say... And they, but they know if they say no, um, then it's no. So initially, she might have said no, but then soon after that, things happened and she changed her mind? Yeah, or well, you just do some smoochy stuff and they change their mind. They know they're in control, and that's the basic thing. If a woman knows that, that, that she can say no and she's in control, then um, you've got a lot of room to manoeuvre there. Many of them are being misled by the questions, and the Home Office is then interpreting their answers to these rather pathetic questions in a manner which suits them. And so, for example, if a woman uh, claims that she has been, um, during the past 12 months, has been... Um, fondled against her will at any time or without her consent at any time, this will be regarded as a sex assault. Now, uh, it seems to me that probably any, any woman who is uh, uh, having a relationship with a man will at some times be fondled by him at a time when she is not in, in the mood. And so the, the kind of answers that women give to these questions depends very much on what they perceive the reason is the reasons for the, are the reasons for the questions. It's also worth pointing out that in the research published by the Home Office, some 30% of those women who were classified by the Home Office as having been raped themselves did not believe that they had been raped. In other words, even where the man doesn't believe he has raped a woman, and even where the woman doesn't believe she has been raped, the Home Office and the police nevertheless put her into the rape figures, which is outrageous, actually. Um, but the public never gets to hear about these details. They simply believe the headline figures. As with domestic violence, the figures for rape are myths. The word rape is heavily misused, as are terms like sex attack and sexual harassment. Every twist, every turn, every fact and every figure is put into the pot of evidence in favour of a rape having been committed. It's in this manner that the Home Office and the police manage to pump up, pump up, pump up the uh, amount of alleged abuse that is taking place in this country. The list of false allegations of rape in the media is long. Here, a court has heard how a professional footballer, Terrell Forbes, and five other aspiring players subjected a 15-year-old girl to a horrendous 24-hour ordeal in which she was repeatedly raped and assaulted. Forbes, who plays for Grimsby Town, is one of six men who all deny charges of rape. 
In a completely separate case, police said this afternoon the Arsenal footballer Graham Stack has been charged with raping a young woman at his home in London. Now, the alleged victim is believed to have told police she met both men at a nightclub in the West End before going back to uh, Graham Stack's flat 